What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So over the past few weeks, we have looked at a lot of online banks in a series of videos aimed at finding the best online bank in 2020. And while we will continue to look at the many other options that are out there, so far I have two personal favorites and that is Chime and SoFi. Both of these platforms are so similar and cater to a very similar audience. So today let's quickly brush up on each of these accounts, discuss what they have to offer and which one I personally feel is the better bank in 2020. Also, both SoFi and Chime are currently offering $50 signup bonuses, so if at any point in today's video you decide that you want to give one of these or both of these a shot, then be sure to use those links down in the description since each of them will give you $50 when you open an account. You know the drill, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff, and let's jump right into it. So I quickly wanna run through the features that each of these accounts offers, but if you do want a more comprehensive review on either of these platforms, then I did do separate videos on both, and I'll leave links to both of those videos down in the description below. Let's start off with my longtime favorite and the original bank review on this channel, which is SoFi Money. SoFi was founded in 2011, which makes it a few years older than Chime, but they didn't really start expanding into the banking services until recently. So in that regard, I would actually say that Chime has a little bit more experience. Now, as with all of these online banks, SoFi Money Money charges no fees, which means no monthly maintenance fees, no foreign transaction fees, and free ATM access to SoFi's network, which they say is over 55,000 ATMs. On top of that, you also get free checks and a pretty great debit card that has contactless payment features and gives you some amazing benefits that I have never seen on a debit card anywhere else, even considering all of the other banks that we've looked at. Your SoFi debit card gets you discounts on airport concierge services, cash back on a number of retailers, and discounts on a bunch of subscription services that a lot of people actually use like Hulu and Disney Plus and a bunch more. Now, the fact that these are services that people actually use is a really important point since many of the competitors, including Chime, do offer retailer discounts, but typically these are for companies that most people have never heard of and never actually buy anything from. So while it is a nice feature, SoFi has actually put in the time and effort to make this a huge advantage for the average daily consumer. So that is definitely a leg up for SoFi. And remember, you also get extended warranty protections and purchase protections, which is one of those things that is just insane, since usually you only see things like this on paid credit cards. Currently, their savings account offers 0.25%, which honestly is not that great, and we'll talk more about that later, but it used to be 2.25% before the interest rates across the board started falling, so hopefully once interest rates start to rise again across the board, they will be able to increase their rate to a more competitive number. They also offer FDIC insurance, which is pretty normal for these online banks, but SoFi gives you $1.5 million in FDIC FDIC insurance, which is significantly higher than the $250,000 of standard FDIC insurance, and they're able to do this because they're partnering with a number of banks who each offer $250,000. So having access to all of this means that your money is fully insured up to $1.5 million, which is pretty crazy. Now, of course, you also have access to the other amazing features from SoFi, including SoFi Invest, Borrow, and Relay, but I don't want to bring those into this conversation too much because we are strictly comparing SoFi money with Chime Bank, so for now, let's just focus on SoFi money. Okay, so that's SoFi in a nutshell. And again, if you want a full breakdown of either of these platforms, I will leave links to both of those videos and full reviews down in the description below. So Chime was founded in 2013 and their primary focus has always been on banking. So I would say that they actually do have more experience than SoFi on that front. As usual, no fees, including no monthly maintenance fees, overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, and of course their ATM network, which is slightly smaller than SoFi at 38,000 ATMs. Now this might sound like a pretty substantial difference, but in my experience, the network of all point ATMs is pretty much identical for all of these banks. So if any bank advertises themselves as an all point ATM network, then they are pretty much exactly the same in my experience. There's a few ATMs within a few miles of where I live and I'm able to use my Discover card, my SoFi card, my Chime card. So in my experience, any bank that advertises that they're on the all point ATM network is pretty much the same. So you don't have anything to worry about there. Plus, even if you use an ATM that is not on their network, Chime only charges $2.50 for off network network ATMs, so it's not the end of the world. All of that is pretty much the same as their competitors, but I have to say, Chime has some really unique features that their competitors currently do not offer. For starters, their interest rate is currently 1%, which is four times what SoFi is currently offering, and obviously these rates are constantly changing like we've talked about before, but the fact that Chime is able to provide a 4x of what SoFi is offering at a time when interest rates across the board are pretty low definitely gives them a huge advantage over not only SoFi, but their competitors in general. If that wasn't enough, they also offer an 
automatic savings feature, which allows you to round up all of your purchases and automatically put that amount into your savings account without even thinking about it. Now I do break this down in my Chime review, but essentially if you go buy a coffee for $4.55, then Chime will automatically round up that purchase to $5 and deposit that extra 45 cents into your savings account. Not a huge deal for some people, but if you are the kind of person who has trouble saving their money, then this is definitely an added bonus that a lot of other competitors do not offer. And of course you have the foundational feature that Chime was really founded on in my opinion, and that is the ability to get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit, meaning if you usually get paid on Friday, then Chime will deposit your paycheck into your account on Wednesday, which is another thing that SoFi just does not offer currently. Chime does also offer cash back and other rewards on their debit card, but I will say that they're not quite as good as some of the other competitors, but those unique features that we just talked about definitely help them stand out from the crowd. Okay, so that is the really quick breakdown on what these two services have to offer, and you can kind of see how they compare and some of these similarities and differences between them. But at the end of the day, you clicked on this video to hear which one I feel is the better bank in 2020. And as always, it kind of depends, but I do have a straightforward answer for you. If we are strictly looking at the banking services in the current circumstances, which include those lower interest rates, then I gotta say Chime has SoFi beat. Their automatic savings features, early paycheck, and the significantly higher interest rate that they currently offer are tough to beat. And while SoFi does have the better cash back features and supposedly a larger ATM network, as someone who has used both both these network on a day-to-day -day basis, I can say that the advantages that Chime offers greatly outweigh the advantages that SoFi has. And as far as the design of each application goes and the overall mobile presence, I honestly think they are identical because both companies have clearly put a lot of time and money into these applications and have done an amazing job designing their apps in a way that is easy to use, easy to learn, and gives you a fresh new look on your finances, which is really awesome. Now in the way of customer service, it's honestly tough to beat SoFi, but this is one of those things that Chime has significantly approved upon and they do have a full call center right now with a pretty short wait time and while i would still give the customer service category to sofi chime is clearly investing a lot of time and money into improving this category and that is definitely an area that they were lacking in previously so that is an encouraging sign for sure now of course there is the issue that i'm sure you have heard about if you've done any research on chime and that is people having their accounts and cards locked for no reason i did address this previously but i personally have not experienced anything like this so i really can't include that in this comparison Comparison, but do some research on your own. And if this is something that really concerns you, then there are plenty of other options out there. Okay, so strictly looking at banking, yeah, I'd probably give us the chime right now, but let's talk about some of the budgeting features that each of these apps offer, because this is another area where both of them really stand out from the crowd. SoFi currently has an entirely separate section called SoFi Relay that allows you to track all of your income, expenses, credit score, and all of those good things. Now, Chime doesn't have this as an entire separate section with a fancy name or anything like that, but they essentially have the exact same feature. And this is a wonderful thing that really eliminates the need for a third-party budgeting app or a complicated spreadsheet. That said, in the way of borrowing and investing, SoFi obviously has the upper hand because this is not what Chime is focusing on. So as I've said a million times before, if you want the ability to invest, borrow, and save your money under one umbrella, then yeah, SoFi is the better recommendation. But it's clear that these companies have very different goals simply based on their marketing strategies. If you've seen Chime's ads on TV or YouTube, then you know that that they are hyper-focused on providing the best banking services possible to their customers. Now, this is not to say that SoFi does not care about the banking side of things at all, but if you've seen any of SoFi's ads on TV, then you've probably noticed that they're more catered around SoFi Borrow and their student loan refinancing, which does make sense since they were founded as a student loan refinancing company, but I think they really could benefit from marketing their SoFi money platform since it is one of the most competitive offers out there. So at the end of the day, both of these are a fantastic choice, but I always advocate for trying different things and then deciding which one is best for you, because my personal take and view on things might be very different from your needs and your goals. Plus, like I said earlier, both of these will each give you a $50 signup bonus, so use those links down in the description to get $100 for free and see which app you personally prefer. They're both free to open, it takes a few minutes if that, and when you decide which one you prefer, it's as simple as closing the account that you no longer want. So let me know what you think of Chime and SoFi down in the comment section below, and if there's any other online banks that you'd like me to review in future videos. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel since I'm just trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. And of course, take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.